my baby, my baby, my baby. Look at this pretty boy, he's so pretty, Oh. Hi guys, and welcome to, I guess what I'm gonna be calling as the setup to Into the Future. I'm doing this live right now on twitch.tv slash sock. I ordinarily stream every single Saturday. I'm recording this on a Friday, so it's a little bit different here, but this is gonna be kind of like a bonus episode, I guess, of me setting up in real time how I'm gonna be setting up my final family of Into the Future. So if you don't know, if you are new or you have not watched my stream or maybe you're in chat right now, I have a very long lasting legacy on YouTube. Um, I don't know if anyone else has ever got, I mean, I don't mean to like be full of myself, but I don't know if anyone else has gotten as far as I have in terms of playing all Sims 3 packs, right? Does anyone else in chat? I mean, I'm not trying to be like full of myself, but I have played Base game, ambitions, late night, generations, pets, showtime, supernatural, uh, world adventures, ha kind of world adventures a little bit, seasons, university, and island paradise. I have played quite a bit on my channel. I would say your only competitor is Andrew Arcade, but I don't know. I don't know if anyone else has um, gotten this far, which is quite actually, it's quite interesting. So today, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be moving that family into their final place of and drum roll please da, 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 da. i think i've decided on aurora skies i think we're gonna live in aurora skies for our final for our final town our final world so it's gonna be exciting aurora skies yay i've never played aurora skies which is pretty fun we'll see the resting place of aurora skies yes i really you know people have made a life simmer like um legacy her wiki she has like a life simmer wiki which is so cool can someone make an Acot and Sock wiki, please? I will help you put it together, please. What a nice way to end it off. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic or not, pizza. <laughs> yeah, but the skies I've heard are beautiful and you don't need like a lighting mod, so it'll be really interesting. Lore. Yeah, I'll, I'll help I'll, I'll help you guys put it together. Listen, if someone wants to do an Acot and Sock wiki, I will help you. The mythology, Acot and wiki. <laughs> no, of course not. Okay, I think pizza, are you, are, am I getting that you're, you're a little bit of a pose to playing to playing aurora skies is that is that what i'm hearing why are you guys trying to are you guys trying to deter me from playing in aurora skies all right so first and foremost we need to get the town so i can't show you how i'm gonna do it but what i can do is tell you i'm gonna go on my discord and go into my sims 3 channel and go into the pins and I'm gonna do it that way. I can't show you. I can't show you, unfortunately, but you wanna know how to get towns in The Sims 3 from The Sims 3 store. Our Discord is a great resource. So once we do that, I'm going to just drag and drop it. Oh, also another thing I wanted to do. Oh, hydration check. Thank you, Kyla. Kyla, thank you. Maddie, after Into the Future, restart and also bury. I could, I still have the save files. So, okay, another thing I like to do is I think we need to ax some of these packs. What do you guys think? We need to take some out. Some Something has to go here. I'm probably not gonna be playing with uni life. I could probably take uni out because I don't know. I, I know a lot of you are like, Manny, why are you taking packs out? Like you paid for these, but I feel like we don't need a lot of these. Showtime, that's another good one we could probably take out. I might take Island Paradise. I know the items. Yeah, I know, Lord. It's gonna be sad, but the smartphone. Oh, true, the smartphones. Oh, you're so right. Smartphone. I can't live without that smartphone. Ah, pets. Pets might. They do. Yeah, they do have. They have the cat. Supernatural. We might be able to take out. Yeah, I'm going to take out. Um, I'm going to take out. I'm probably going to take out Island Paradise when we move them from, um, you know, into uh, I, I Paradise. So why could I not think of that? <laughs> yeah, Island Paradise will get the axe and World Adventures. I might need if they, we want to go. I mean, ideally I could, but if I want to use Enros Traveler, wait, I don't think Enros Traveler is contingent on using World Adventures, is it? So we could. Why do I forget River's Wife? Say Martina, Martina. I probably should show you guys the family, right? I mean, let me show you guys the family. If you are unfamiliar, maybe you haven't caught up with my series. Um, this is going to be spoilers. So if you're not into spoilers, then please don't watch. Okay, so here are just the photos I have on, on my thing right now. So here's some photos. Oh, oh my god, this is one river. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me tell you, can I tell you guys a quick story about these two? So River, when he was in high school, right? 
he was like a two or three years older than Martina. Now Martina was a freshman, he was probably like a junior. And so when he aged up to a young adult, I was like, I cannot be having this happen. So I broke them up, right? They end up like, you know, obviously River, like he grows up, he gets older and all that stuff. But these two in the end, okay, this was a little bit, a little, little bit, you know, <laughs> anyway, um, in the end, River ended up having a child with someone else. So River had a hoe phase. Yes, he did. Okay. And he held his own son like this. And this is his son. This is Noel. And here we go. Here's Tyson. Oh, I forgot about the, the Tyson and Palmyra like side side story. Oh, so this is this is River's baby mama. Her name is Florida. She's a pre-maid in the town. And so obviously River like he grew up and like he fell in love with Florida. He had a baby with her. And then uh, lo and behold, Florida was a, a serial cheater. And so River basically raised Noel by himself and he's such a good dad to the baby oh my god i love it Ugh. and then this is noel aged up this is noel hanging out with their oh, uncle yeah and uh noel's uncle is the same age so they like basically grew up like brothers and here we are okay so this is river right from when he was a teenager and this is martina they rekindled their romance and you know he bought her a drink and they basically fell back in love and simultaneously florida rekindled her relationship with her son and it was cute and all that sort of stuff and then river was saving martina she like passed out or something um, and then here's them getting back together here's noel aging up to a teen here's skip and here's noel so this once again this is noel and this is river's child and this is also ash and ash would be noel's uncle but uh they grew up basically like brothers so they're like the same exact age and then i think someone died and then this was a chaos <laughs> i don't they're all crying and then this is what we ended up doing with the resort because in island paradise you can own a resort so we have like a roller coaster and a lot kind of stuff here's noel once again aging up to young adult and here we have martina oh she's so beautiful i love this hair on her martina and river and also ash in the corner here Noel and Ash's friendship is so wholesome. I so I I'm I, I agree. I love it so much. And then they aged up on the same exact day. And then this ended up being Noel's like makeover and that sort of thing. So and then this is River and Martina on a little date. And they're taking some selfies here. And then he popped the question. They went on like a cute little dinner date. And then he popped the question to her on the boardwalk so cute so 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 cute here's them hugging they did like the love meter and they got like almost the highest one which is super so cute and then that is where we left off in island paradise so hopefully that gave you guys a little bit of a recap if you've never seen island paradise i think those photos pretty much told this the entire story i mean roughly um but yeah so that's the family we're gonna be moving today now i do some setup and i know a lot of you are like maddie show your setup for the towns or whatever so that's why i'm doing this i know it might not be like the most entertaining thing but this is the last this is quite literally the last time i'm gonna have a chance to show you guys how i set up a family so i figured might as well do it uh you know in in this stream today sorry i'm getting like the aurora skies town in my downloads folder here really quickly so I just put in the Aurora Skies file. I need to now install the actual town itself. So let me get that going here. Okay, I hate the sensory launcher so much. Maybe start off episode one tonight. Are you out of your mind, Tosh? I, there's a lot more stuff that we'll have to go into it. I have to like get in the mindset to record an LP. And also I have to update the family tree. Oh my God, we have to do that. Okay, so if you don't know, I have a plum tree app for this family. So if you want to like follow the whole legacy on the plum tree app you can quite literally follow down the line of who my sims are and like their relationships and whatever let me show you guys this plum tree app this is such a great program um this is um, it's such an amazing and it's like free you don't have to pay for anything or anything like that so we start off with roxy my founder right here she was a news anchor this girl had her life together she was with both the hottest men in sunset valley or in and hank and then we went down the line here and then that's where we are right now so if you if you can see they're all still children 
so i definitely need to like update this family tree and uh get their ages all fixed and stuff like that because i like to have this as a resource for my first episode of a new generation just so people can like follow kind of if they don't understand so anyway we need to update that so i'm gonna have to take some portrait photos of them let me quickly download aurora skies here so i'm just gonna go in to the stupid sims 3 launcher the lazy duchess version does make it better but it is still the sims 3 launcher at the end of the day and it does not work it, it does it, it's it's shitty like this is such a shitty program it just the launcher is so clunky in the sims 3 it's like if you have a bad piece of cc your launcher will not open altogether. i've had it happen before where i had to like really purge my entire sims 3 catch folder and the sims 3 downloads folder because it will not open this screen brings you so much nostalgia it's so i just hate the sims 3 launcher it's so bad it's so bad <clears throat> If you're like a fake fan, you never watch the Legacy. I mean, you don't have to. You don't have to. Does that mean there won't be any more Sims 3 LPs in the future? I, I don't think so. I think I'll still doing I'll still keep doing like Sims 3 stuff. Um, but I've done like I've I've done what I set out to do. You know what I mean? Like I started my channel specifically to upload Legacy content or like Le Legacy content, and I will have finished it, which is like so monumental because I said this before stream or before I started recording, but. I start so many things. I start so many books. I start so many projects. I start like movies and TV shows and I never finish them. But this is one thing in my life that I can finally say that I finished to like the fullest capacity, like 45 episodes. Also, I don't know if this season will be 45 episodes just because I'm not, not the biggest fan of Into the Future. Um, so yeah, I start so many things that I never finish. All right, so we got Aurora Skies. It's crashing <laughs> as the Sims 3 launcher does. So bad. It's such a bad program. Sims 2 Legacy. Ooh, that's a good question, Lizzie. I don't know. I feel like I start so many sewing projects that never make it to completion. I don't know if I can do a Sims 2 Legacy. I like playing with all the packs in the Sims. I feel like when I play Sims 2, I have to have all the packs. I have to, have to. Sims 4, not so very. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's funny. I've been waiting for Into the Future. It's my favorite. Thank you. I try it. Look at it. This is literally just crashed. My Sims 3 launcher. What are your plans after you finish the celebrity? Well, hopefully I'll have a job, um, like a real job. So videos, my, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm going to stop recording, like making videos all together because I really do love to share this stuff with you guys. But I have to see like, I have to see like where I am at that point when I have a job because, you know, I did just graduate college. So one of the cool things I know that does come with Aurora Skies is that baby walker in the baby playpen which is so cool but we're gonna have to axe some of these packs we're obviously gonna have to add it into the future i don't know what i want to take out what do i want to take out what should we take out i'm obviously gonna take out island paradise when we move the family i'm thinking i'm not gonna take out anything for now i think we should just keep it as is and then i'll decide at a later date take out showtime yeah university but i need the phone i need the upgraded phone for university we'll have we'll have to keep the university phone i think showtime is a really good option because i'm not using showtime at all so the baby item is really op it really is look at that sims 4 ad oh Mar mermaid martina you are so true gwen that is so true damn it i'm not gonna be able to take out into the island paradise damn the pull bar came with showtime yeah Ugh, that's so annoying hmm i'm gonna have to keep i'm gonna have to keep it then i'm gonna have to keep that in the game because i just i need i need uh martina to be a mermaid because that was like a whole you know that was a whole plot line of the last the last one okay music's made which is good okay oh also i should mention i made a video um if you want to see this in like a more consolidated way because i'm about to take you guys like how i do it in real time if you want to see a more consolidated way i actually made a video this past Notorious week of how it's lag. it's a it's a much oh that's my announcement video here we go so if you guys want to watch this video uh this might be a better resource if you're actually looking for some substance and like explanation so this video I made this week, it's Enros Porter versus Enros Traveler, which is how I'm going to be moving these Sims from town to town. I give like an explanation of like how to get it. Enros Porter and Enros Traveler, um, what they are, like what, what they do and all that. So this is a really thorough video. I'm going to be doing this in real time. So if you have questions, probably I probably answer in this video. But I'm going to be moving this family today with Enros Porter because I just prefer it. I think it's a lot cleaner and like less laggy. 
this way so all right let's get into the family um i'm gonna delete these because i don't need them anymore just kind of get through get rid of some of this stuff and i think this is yeah this is their house okay it won't wave <laughs> I don't know it won't wave i was having trouble trying to export this family as a sims 3 pack which is super weird uh it won't it wouldn't save it would like go in an infinite processing glitch when i would try to export this family i think it's because of the amount of inventory items i had so sad very sad where's my music why is my music like stopping at three seconds it's so bizarre finally maddie with multiple saves those were all oh my my spotify isn't working huh that's bizarre. Maybe Is my internet shitting itself. I'm so proud. Thank you guys. Appreciate that. Very much so appreciate that. I try. My Spotify isn't working. It won't load. Is it just my Spotify? Oh, there we go. Here's some music. I'm going to sleep, but I can't watch. I can't wait to see the stream on YouTube. Thank you, E Bean. Actually, I'm gonna put on some headphones so I can actually hear my hear my chill music. Good job, Manny. Guys, it was not actually me doing multiple saves, trust. I'm not I'm I'm not a multiple save believer, okay? Except for Except for like doing backups and that sort of thing, obviously. So <clears throat> I wish you could pick the loading screen and not have the most recent one and each one hurts my eyeballs, right? It's like blaringly white. It's blaringly white. It does hurt the eyes. Sims 3 Birthstone Challenge looks interesting or the Sims 3 Stone World South Florida would be a cool adapted by you. Yeah. Um, I might do another challenge. I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. Um, maybe shorter this time. Maybe shorter challenge because 45 episodes is kind of long. But for some of the packs, like you need 45 episodes. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes you need four to five episodes to like get everything done. Oh, that's cool. You can choose a loading screen. I didn't know that. I, I love the uh, Master Suite one. Have you guys seen the Master Suite loading screen? Sims 3, let me show you guys this. It is so freaking, let me, let me show you guys this loading screen. It's so like sensual. Look at this loading screen. It's so beautiful. Master Suite. I never, I've never even seen this one. I love it. It has like the cute i don't know it just like all is really nicely put together got to go it's 3am officially bye small koala thank you thank you for popping in i really appreciate it have a nice night i'm gonna look into the mods or loading screens still trying to wrap my head around all the mods since making the switch from sims 4 hey grim welcome to the dark side <laughs> thank you thank you for switching over i hope my videos can help you too Maybe some do some different legacies. Yeah, if I do it, if I do a legacy in the future, um, it's gonna be shorter for sure. Like shorter episodes, not 45. Because 45 was way too much for Island Paradise. Like I was just getting sick of it at that point. Someone someone said that it was like purgatory. <laughs> someone made that comment. That it was like purgatory. I was holding them in purgatory. Why is this taking so long to load? See, this is why I cannot use like I have to switch this over to Enros Porter because this is how long it takes just in Isles of Parody. So I have to switch over to, to a new world or something. Do you ever think about doing mod reviews? Yeah, mod reviews are interesting. It would just have to be a big enough mod that like I would want to make the video about, you know what I mean? Like these smaller mods are stuff that isn't really all that groundbreaking. Um, I don't. I mean, maybe they weren't a video. They probably, I probably did like five new Sims 3 mods or something like that. Then I could put them in there, but like a dedicated video to just one mod, I don't know. I've thought about it, but only if it's like a really, really big mod. Okay, what is my game doing? Have you seen the new Birds and the Bees mod? I have not. I have not. Is it like the one that gives your Sims periods? I think I might've saw it in my Discord. Oh my gosh. There's so much stuff at the beginning of the loading <laughs> like random genetics and then story progression this is actually running oh oh my god the stupid portals i am not ready to play this pack guys i am not ready oh my god i'm not ready to play this pack oh 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 man okay 
so we're back and we're in the, into the future yay my game is like wow it's like freezing like no it definitely runs a lot better on my computer here back at home than my university one yeah it does oh that's interesting if you want to breathe while deciding what legacy to do then may i suggest rags to riches yeah that'd be fun rags to riches i feel like i'm doing that with the savage legacy though why is my spotify not playing music what the hell okay um so what we need to do is i'm gonna move them via enros porter so maybe i should get my video tutorial out right now because why do i like hiking not remember how to do this even though i just did it the other day all right we're gonna pack them we just want them i'm sorry that tyson tyson's gonna be left behind which is kind of sad well let me see is there anyone else in this town oh we have to bring jeanette with us we gotta bring jeanette with us yeah, we're gonna have to bring Jeanette. Maybe we can just put her somewhere in the town because this is Ash's girlfriend. Spotify is down right now. Yeah, it's not, it's like none of my songs are loading. I can play like some of them, but they get like stuck. Okay, um, so we'll grab, we'll grab Jeanette. I need to see who else. Yeah, mine's down too. Oh, it must be like a Spotify problem then, yeah. What do we need? Oh man, I need to write down. I'm gonna make a list of everyone. All right, so we need Jeanette. She's dating Ash. Um, Do we need Martina? Martina doesn't have any parents, which is so sad. Her parents died. So Martina, we don't need anybody with. Noel, I don't, I don't think we should bring Florida with us. Ursula, oh, Ursula. Ursula's like, when is Ursula? Where is she at? Ursula is right here. She has a daughter named Cassie. That's what she's up to. She's dating Philip Hahn. Philip Hahn is really good looking, actually. He's one of the better looking pre-maids in As a Pretty So. I thought she was dead, but she's not. She's like an adult. She's she's chilling. She's living her life. Yep, so. His eyebrows are wonky, but oh, why do I remember him being better looking? He has a really nice side profile. He reminds me of Hank. He gives me Hank Goddard eyes. His eyes, actually. <laughs> that nose and a half. This is what he looks like. Oh god, the new the new Into the Future hairs too. Look at these. Oh, I hate them so much. I hate the Into the Future hair. Except this one. This one's okay, but like the rest of them are just atrocious. Like, what is this? What is this? Okay, this one's nice. This is from I was a pretty so. Are you haunted by Hank? Yes, I'm haunted by Hank. I used to like some of them. Hell, that one female ponytail with the fringe for days. Wait, what do you guess? Let me let me let me check out the female hairs. I have not played with Into the Future in such a long time. Why is Martina just not in the world? Hello, <laughs> Martina. Hello, where are you at, girl? I can't see her. She's she's just gone. Um, it's. The game thinks that she's there, but she's clearly disappeared. Hello? Um, Martina? Girl, are you here? What's going on? Let me take her into Sim, Advanced, Ed and Cast. Watch her be like disappeared, a disappearing woman. You have to wear the clothes and hair has no default replacement body. It's the rules. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't. Here's Martina. She's the one that I showed you guys earlier where she has like that really cute love story with River where like they met in high school and then they broke up. This one I actually really, really like. It, it's very flattering on Martina. It really is. I like it. I think this is the one you were talking about with Fringe for Days, but this one's pretty bad. Um, Not horrible, but pretty bad. This one is just, I don't know what they were thinking. This one, what like her her brain looks like it has like a it's like expanded times 10 they shine they really do they're so shiny look at they're so shiny eh i don't like it this one's nice though i think out of all of them i really like this um this one this one's giving like hunger games a little bit or like the royal family because they wear some pretty weird shit um let me see what we have in accessories for women Mega Minds. Oh, this one. Oh, why? This one's kind of a serve, actually. It's like if you if Ariana wait the 
the the front piece is like not even connected that's so weird it's like levitating look at look at the space between the front the front fringe and her forehead what the hell what is that bye risky that's so this is so bizarre anyway okay so those are the hairs I, but i swear if ariana grande had her hair like this y'all would eat it up like come on be real be real all right someone said look at the makeup too all right let's look at the makeup the first one is how my buns used to look mine my hair was almost on my knees sister called me pine cone for ages <laughs> oh god the makeup oh this is interesting oh it's just the block okay cool i don't know if i should dress my sims in this kind of makeup i mean i don't know they were getting really funky with the makeup towards the end of um towards the end of the sims 3 what is this? I've never seen this before. Oh, I think it's like eyelid mesh. It's very blocky. My music is like not working again. I love Spotify sometimes. What are we doing? A legacy? No, no, no. So this is for my Sims 3 Island Paradise family. We're moving them to a new town. So I'm just getting them like all set up and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I mean, I wasn't. Oh my God, dude. Spotify is making me so mad right now. I wasn't planning on using it before, but I certainly, what is this? What the hell? Why? Who asked for this? This is like, you cannot use this kind of, I mean, unless you're doing something um, in like your home world, but this is like makeup that I would only see myself using in Oasis Landing, which is so sad. Like it, it's just a, I feel it's like a waste of like someone's work. This is kind of cute. It's actually a heart. That's actually really cute. It's a heart. But the top and the bottom lip being different, this is actually really cool. I like this one because you can like recolor it to make it look not so, you know, strange. And you can like make two tone lips, which is really cool. I actually do like the two tone lip, but it's it looks like it's EA made because it is EA made. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Anyway, so there is the new makeup for... Oh my god, I even look at clothes. I know the clothes are bad. The clothes are like very boxy and stuff. It's very disappointing. Um, All right, I need to see... Do we need anyone else in this town? Let me see. Who do we need? We don't need Tyson. I'm not bringing him. We need Jeanette because that's his girlfriend. I think I'm just bringing Jeanette with us. I think we're ready. I think we're bringing Jeanette with us. All right, so we're going to go to... Okay, my music just cut out. <laughs> I didn't want to listen to it anyway. All right, we're going to do pack. We're going to do river, Taylor, and... Just, uh, to say, uh, mm, I think we're just going to click on him and see who goes without. Oh, actually, I think... Okay, Jeanette's here. So why don't we do... All right, so here's what we have to do. So because we're using Enrol's Porter, we're going to have to select everybody that we want to take with us and also dead sims so like we're gonna need luther because he's the kid's grandpa winona not tyson skip river not palmyra noel meadow martina kai bailey ash and i just gotta make sure i take everyone i have to be like really particular because if i miss someone i'm gonna be so sad i think that's everybody i want to take though florida we don't need where's meadow Oh, Meadow's there. How about Skip? Yeah, Skip's there. Okay, so the family tree will be like partially filled out because I'm taking ghosts with me. So we'll do... If you look dead people, it keeps them in the family tree, correct? Yes, that's correct. So we'll name them in ITF. Into the future. <clears throat> and by the way, uh, please don't like copy what I'm doing. I give a better explanation of how to do this in my video I made and it's also a lot shorter than this stream will be so I'm I'm doing this like off the top of my dome I don't have any written notes of how to do this I'm just doing it from memory so the, the game is very particular with how you use this so you have to like make sure your game is paused and then you have to unpause it you have to pause it and then unpause it it's like particular particular like that thank you for the hydration check brand Thank you, Rex. <laughs> I found my deceased Sims in the service NPC household before. That's interesting. I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe the game. Oh, my that voice crack. Wow. Am I okay? Maybe the um game 
codes them that way i don't know you're copying okay Murto. just be warned that you're you might like lose your uh your, your game might like break up <laughs> because i know okay right now all right so my family just packed right if i were to go right into edit town right now i would come back with my my ui would look like this hold on why is it not working my ui would look like this in game so you have to be really particular when you like save or not save but you pause and like unpause your game because right now my game has to run for a second and then i can go into edit town and like look and see if it worked game yeah my voice cracked so bad puberty's hard man okay so you go down here you can delete these um you go down here make sure you have everyone in there yeah 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 spotify not working it's just my absolute fave it's bothering me okay go go return back to game and there we go okay so we're good now um i can go and for whatever reason it deletes my cat i have the cat in there right i think i did yeah the cat's in there okay so we can go to the main menu now i'm gonna load into aurora skies main menu i can never get tra uh Enros traveler mod to work says sagalo I had moving towns and losing all connections, so I'm paying attention. So, um, Sagalo, what you wanna, this is, we're not using Enros Traveler, we're using Enros Porter. So yeah, we're gonna lose our connections across towns. Um, Enros Traveler, actually, you just have to put it in your game and it will automatically save those connections when you move to the new town. So this is Enros Porter. There's a difference between Enros Porter and Enros Traveler. I should have made that clarification. We're using Enros Porter because I think it conserves file size a lot better than Enros Traveler does. Okay, so we're gonna load into Aurora Skies right now. And here we go, are we ready? Yeah, I like I like Porter a lot more too than Traveler. Um, I think that Traveler gets your game bloated really fast. Like your game will, will be just a giant file size really, really soon after you start in the new town because it keeps and saves all that sim data from your previous world. So, it's a baby on the fucking cliff for me. Is that where she was? I didn't even see her. I could never get Enros Traveler. Oh, I read that. Sorry. <laughs> um, I had bought it, but it's probably a, just a fault on my end, though. Tosh, wait, would you say you need World Adventures? Actually, uh, I looked it up, Tosh. You don't need World Adventures um, to use Traveler, which is really interesting. I, I also looked it up before I made my video, and the answer I got from uh, Enros forums was that you don't need World Adventures to use Enros Traveler, which is super interesting. Does Porter save your household data like wishes and stuff? So I don't think it saves wishes. I don't actually know if it's possible even with Enros Traveler to save wishes across towns. I don't know if that's possible with Enros Traveler or I think I think regardless, once you hit a loading screen like this, I think it is going to lose your wishes. I, I might be wrong there, but I don't think that that's like, you, you can code it in such a way that your wishes would be saved. So yeah. Just in case y'all want to watch. Oh yeah, thank you Pizza for linking it. Um, it's a it's a great video, 30 minute. I give detailed explanations and stuff. Does skills stay? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Skills do stay. Would retain wishes not work? No, retain wishes would not work. Just the coding of the game, I think, would not allow you using either Porter or Traveler to save wishes across towns. I just don't think that's like something that the game can do with its, you know, with its hardware and stuff like that, so. Wishes always come back. Yeah, that yeah, that is true. Wishes do always come back usually. And I think there's a way with Enroll so you can cheat wishes onto your sim. I could be wrong. Like if there's like a wish that you really wanted to keep, I think you can cheat them back somehow. So if you're worried about that. Um, but Porter Porter saves relationships of sims that are in that porter packed family it will save their jobs it will save their skills it will save their inventory items uh the things that it does not save is relationships across towns so say i'm moving to aurora skies here all my relationships back in isla paradiso are gone and it's like the sim that basically didn't exist which is really sad but you also have to remember if you keep your family and move them with an honest traveler, it's going to be a really big file size. So yeah. Oh, here we are. Oh, this is such a cute little cutscene. I love it. Look how cute. Oh, she's cute. 
Oh, she's cute. I love like the brightly styled houses. They're so cute. <gasps> Ooh. The green meshy grass. Look how fast it was. It was quick. Um, Big file fans from your computer making it levitate. Got it. Yeah. This is a cute. It, it's very interesting. Look at how far off. This is like quite a big world, I will say. Interesting. I kind of want to just like look at some of the lots. Let's do that. Um, actually, no. Let me move in the family first, and then we will go ahead and um, look at some of the lots and stuff. So let me choose. We just have to choose like a random family and load into them. Hi, Belagoth fan page. I haven't streamed in like since last year, so you haven't missed much. I haven't been streaming anyway. This is my first stream back in the new year. I was hoping Lunar Lakes, but honestly, I've never played it myself, and I'm not super into sci-fi worlds. Same. I'm really, I like the suburban, but like not science sort of related things. So I'm gonna not enable that right now. The grass looks so nice. It doesn't look that bad actually. I mean, this house just like isn't rendered. Um, yeah, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, it doesn't look bad, I don't think. This is just like the Sims 3 grass, grass texture. doesn't look too bad actually i think oh thank you gwen i appreciate it for the sub with prime thank you <clears throat> i think uh lucky palms well we played in lucky palms before lizzie who is this guy who are you joan reed i'm gonna struggle with these names because they're all like scandinavian names is that a custom neighborhood no this is aurora skies from the sims 3 store so look at this oh this is pretty it's actually really pretty. This isn't too bad. I like it. The water is really beautiful, I think. And the sky. I can't wait to see the skies. Okay. Um, What are their stories? Cassidy Reed. Oh, she has parents. Oh, she's a teen. Oh, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> she looks like an old woman. It's a haircut for sure. My default hair uh, replacements are working though. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me go. I have to click on an empty house now and we want to let the game run for a second here And we're gonna pause it again and then I'm going to go over here and Okay, that's not a house. I need a house. Okay, right here. Order. We're gonna unpack them Uh, ITF I called it Happy Friday, Nico. Thank you I can't even have it in the future robot. They crashed my game somehow. That's weird. Might be a mod conflict. This is one of my favorite worlds. It's so beautiful. I think it is too. I like the I like like the red houses, like the brightly colored houses. I think they're really pretty. I used to do the same thing. I don't know how it fixed itself, but once I moved my game to a new computer, it worked. Oh, I'm scared. You guys are scaring me. Okay, so I unpacked. I don't know why her last name is McDermott. I need to change that immediately. So this is Jeanette's household. Um, let me see where, let me see her. Let's change her last name. Oh, wait, no, this is, oh, McDermott family. I think she unpacked, hold on a second. Where the hell did Jeanette unpack to? Right here? Yeah, it must be. I don't know why her last name, oh, our, our family's last name is McDermott. Okay, got it. So let me uh i'm gonna let the game run for another second and then we can switch to them there we go all right we're gonna go to edit town now and that that is how you use nos porter it's rather straightforward you just have to make sure that you're pausing and unpausing pausing and unpausing to let the game like breathe for a second for whatever reason that's just how the mod works okay so we are the taylor family and we are not the mcdermott family anymore and this is uh jeanette what is her last name jeanette what the hell is her last name? Jeanette McCurdy. Jeanette, um, Jeanette. Why can I not think of her last name? I don't know why I can't. Collins? Is it? No, it's not Collins, is it? Is it Collins? Did you, are you serious, Lizzie? Did you remember that? And you have never even watched my legacy? <gasps> Lizzie, your brain. Oh, you're so right, Lizzie. Thank you. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and do Collins here. And we're gonna start off, I'm gonna, I love giving my female Sims makeovers. So we're starting off with Jeanette because she's a young adult and that's like my favorite 
that's my favorite age to give makeovers to. So we're starting off with Jeanette. If you guys don't know, before every single new season, I do give my Sims makeovers. So we'll start with her. I also think it might be too cold. Oh shit. You guys know what I'm at the setup? I'm gonna have to set up Enros uh, Tempest. If you don't know what Enros Tempest is, it allows you to create your own sort of biome, like your own ecosystem. It's really cool actually. It provides a more detailed approach to controlling weather on a town by town basis, providing the ability to adjust weather profiles on a daily basis during any particular season. So like, for example, I know that Aurora Skies is based off like Sweden or like a Scandinavian, like Denmark, you know, up there. So it's going to be really cold. It's going to be really, really cold. So I can't have a super warm summer day because Sweden and Denmark don't get that hot as far as I know. Someone in chat might know something else, but I'm gonna have to set up Enros Tempest. Let me let me write that write that down so I don't forget. Gotta put that gotta put that down. So that's one of the things we're gonna have to do. And maybe we can do it during stream just so we can like do it together because I know you guys like to see this kind of stuff. So well, I'm gonna write down Enros Tempest on a sticky note. Enros Tempest. Um, why is my music not working? I need some tunes. Hello, Spotify. We need to do makeovers. I don't even know if I want to move them into that house hi diegi we're doing we're doing stuff for into the future setup right now so we're not playing selena yet we will though bye Murto. good night okay so jeanette might not be in going into the future so we'll have to see i want to give her like a sci-fi sort of look jeanette's so cute i love her She's a cutie. Oh my god. I just got this new hair and it looks so cute on her. Where was it? I just had it on her. Where'd it go? Where did I put it? I'm so particular. Particular. I don't know where it, went, where it just went. Oh, I, I really like this one. This is so cute. Oh, I have so many good hairs. She, when you have like a pretty sim, they can literally wear anything. Oh wait, I downloaded this new hair the other day that I really wanted to use. Um, oh, this is so cute on her too. I don't this new hair. Where is it? It'd be towards the bottom. Let me see. It's the ugly base game one with the spiky bun, I think. Is that what I clicked on? Oh, this is so cute. Oh my god, I have so many good hairs. I have so many good hairs that I want to use on her. Mm. She looks good in literally all, hair, all hairs. Oh, maybe not this one. This one. I don't know that one. I don't, I'm not vibing with that one. I have this hair I reblogged yesterday or a couple of days ago. <sighs> I need to show you guys this hair because it was so cute and I really wanted to use it. I really wanted to use it. But I don't think I installed it in my game. I don't want to relaunch. Let me show you guys this hair. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I might have it. It might be an accessories. Look at this hair. Is this not the cutest hair ever? I love it. Okay, I think I'm going to give her that one. Let me see if it's an accessories. It better it better be there. I swear, if it's not there, I'm gonna be so upset. I didn't install it. It has to be here, please, please. Oh, oh, did I get it? Did I install it? That's not it. Um, I feel like I would have installed it. No, I don't think I did. Oh man, that's so sad. Wait, is this it? Oh, this is cute with the little clip in the back. Hmm, I'm not a fan of the front though. I think I want to give her something I've never used before. I have so many good ones. We also have to remember that we have Martina too to give a makeover to. It's really futuristic. I was thinking that too. I was thinking like something like this maybe? Like a sleek bob. Yeah, I think something like this. I'm gonna give her this. I don't, do I need to give her more different makeup? Her nose mask, I did a, such a bad job at matching it. She has freckles, I think I gave her two. Did I give her freckles? I remember. Oh shit. I don't have my multiple layers for makeup enabled. Oh wait, I do. Uh, multiple, oh, okay, I lied. Sorry, I do. Like a sleek bob. Yeah, I think a sleek bob. I'm gonna give her this one, I think. Um. All right, let's go in here, give her a different nose mask. Not that I, she doesn't really need one because she has a really small nose. She looks like a mom with that hair. Well, here's the thing, you know, she's getting a little bit older. She's getting a little bit older. I don't know, I like it. I think it's a serve. 
I got freckles. I forgot to give her freckles. All right, let's do this. She's like perma smiling. I don't know why. <laughs> it's like the way her mouth sits. She's like perma smiling. It's the shirt. Yeah, we're gonna change her outfit too because obviously we're gonna have to do like a colder, colder outfit. Does anyone know if anyone in chat lives in like Sweden or whatever? Denmark, any Scandinavian country. What is like the peak summer temperature? Denmark, summer average temp. Let's do that. Uh, it gets around 17 Celsius. What the hell does that mean? 17 Celsius to Fahrenheit is 17 Celsius. Oh my God, come on. Celsius to Fahrenheit conversion. 17 Celsius is 62 Fahrenheit. Oh, that's not even hot. This is what I'm saying. Oh, wait, it, it's not many in other stores. It's saying it gets 36 Celsius in Denmark. Let's check that. What is 36? Oh, 36 Celsius? Jeez, that is hot. That is hot. What nose mask is this? This is the Burnt Waffles nose masks. She has the opposite of resting bitch face. She does. She's got a smiling face. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I thought I didn't have compact mode on. I almost had a heart attack. Whew. All right, let's see. Oh, these, some of these are cute. I kind of like this. I mean, I'm not going to give it to her, but these are cute outfits. You know, this is actually really nice. This would have came with Island Living in Sims 4. Hmm. Oh, this one's a serve. Look at that little bit of cleave moment. These ones are like actually so ugly, but I don't, why is her body sit like that? Like her arms are like this. <laughs> okay, I got to give her something not futuristic because not it's just not working out for me <clears throat> huh. hi d'angelo hmm. normally mainland europe is really cold in winter and hot in summer unless you're in ireland it's like 18 degrees and we're chilling by the beach with the heat in the future gives the older lady gaga vibes that's a, that's a good comparison yeah so i'm gonna give her i mean huh. The game starts off in summer, so maybe I should just give her something. Look at her muscles too. I'm gonna give her this top. I like it a lot. If I make it just like one color, I, I think that purple would look really good on her. Um, Maybe like a maroon. Yeah, I like that color. Hmm. Give her some different pants. Although this could be an outfit, but I won't. I'm just gonna do her everyday attire because we don't see the rest of her other clothes. So why change them? I used to do like every outfit and I was like, what is this? Why am I doing this? I might just give her something basic. Oh my God, I love these jeans so much. I always talk about those jeans. You need to see Adam Birch, Townie, and Estelle Olivia's unborn son. That baby turns out to be such a good looking sim. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to keep an eye out. I have to keep an eye out. Um, mm. these cut these are really futuristic if she ends up going to the future we have got to give her these latex pants we got to <clears throat> is adam birch what is he from reverse guys i've literally never played in reverse guys before so this will be interesting i don't know what i want to give her everything is like clipping into the shirt i set up it so hard Mm, we're close. I can taste. I can taste that we're close. Okay, I gotta take the leggings off the tights. His baby with the Stella looks like a custom sim, with how he good he looks. Wait. Okay, so is he from Aurora Skies? I assume. That's why you guys are telling me that. Let's give her a watch. I mean, I don't love this outfit, but I don't hate it. Oh, he is in the town. Okay. That's interesting. The shirt is just... The shirt is not doing it for me. The shirt is not doing it. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Ugh. Normally I, like, can ace a makeover in, like, five minutes, but... Something with Martina. I called her Martina. Something with Jeanette, it's just not... I mean, we're not even gonna see her very much, so... Need to pair it with sleek pants. Yeah, I mean, I like the shirt. It's something about, like, the super alpha shorts and then, like, the really maxis shirt. Because the shirt... The shorts are super alpha. I think I might just change the shirt up, honestly. 
there was something just i might have to give her custom content because i cannot i'm at, i'm trying to use i really am trying to use the um ea clothes but huh. oh my god i love this outfit this is such a cute okay maybe not that color top but like that fit oh my god this is what this is what martina's wearing she just rip off her outfit um i'm struggling oh this is cute wait a sec okay 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 wait we're getting somewhere i don't like english text in my game so i'm like i'm not i'm gonna have to give her like something that doesn't have text on it oh okay we've 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 hit a we've hit it we've hit a target all right this is her outfit what skin is the sim using it is orchard skin oh wait i think i can link it to you exclamation point skin let me see if that comes up maybe not exclamation point skin there we go there it is i think i can't reply why is my music stopped all right here's her outfit her new outfit hmm there needs to be like a pop of color somewhere on this all to land on that most basic outfit listen this is supposed to be like livable it's supposed to be like something that she can relax in. it's not supposed to be like she's super dressed up i kind of like the heart earrings they're really cute should we give her a nose ring <laughs> the nose ring is actually so cute on, on jeanette i think i'm gonna give her a nose ring hold on i never given one of my sims one i'm not sure i need like a slider looks more like pjs you guys are dragging but it's cute it is cute let me see if she has contacts on and i wish i could slide the nose ring up a little bit but i don't think i have a slider <laughs> Tianko, what the fuck? um okay i'm gonna oh that that messed with the color of her irises or her yeah wait what is this the white part of her eye or something like that customize and i love these eyes on her she looks so cute with the customize can I, uh, oh, like a septum slider? I can link real quick. Yeah, I, I need a septum slider for the, for the freaking nose ring. I'm gonna have to, unfortunately, quit on my game to put it in, though. Let me see if I have one. I might have one already. Let's see. Maybe a hat, would a hat slider do it? Not sure um no it, it doesn't pick it up oh you scared me gwen um it doesn't pick it up as a hat so unfortunately i can't use the hat slider on it i thought it would pick it up as a hat how does game like know if something is coded as a hat or not that's my question well i'll have to use a septum slider or something okay what are her traits let's see Jeanette's traits she's absent-minded Ambitious, born saleswoman, a diva, and a great kisser. Damn! Wait, she kind of ate that. Use that one. Okay. Does she have a family where she knew him. So she is a. Uh, what is she? She's like the niece of Martina, who's like the matriarch of the family. So, anyway, here's Jeanette. Um, she needs a septum slider. Really, I mean, actually. Is the placement weird? The placement doesn't seem too bad. It does seem a little bit low. Wow, that is a really detailed septum slider, actually. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. I'll have to definitely get that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that link. I'm just gonna post it in Discord. Let me see here. Post it, septum slider. Just so I can remember to do that. Okay. Um, all right, so there is her house. It doesn't seem too bad. Yes, go in her face. And then we're gonna have to switch over to this family. So go over here. I haven't saved yet. I need to save. Eat the nose hairs. <clears throat> so I'm gonna give makeovers to... Oh my god, they all have the dead moodlets. Oh my god! Look at his clothes! It switched him back! <laughs> He's gone full plant sim, guys. He's gone full plant sim interesting okay so this house is way too small but i'll have to fix it later 
This is what Martine looks like. She needs a makeover. It's summer here in Brewer Skies, so. He's still hot. Yeah, River's a good looking guy. Like, his, his, his jeans did well, for sure. Even though he's like a dad now, he's got like a, a dad. He's got dad clothes and whatever. He's still cute. All right, so it's Martina's turn. So this is the uh, aunt, I think, or like some sort of relation to Jeanette. She's related to Jeanette in some capacity, I forget, but she definitely looks like her. Definitely, oh, I didn't mean to click that, okay. Um, hmm. She's always been like, like she just gives every, everything that she does, she just gives. I don't know what I'm gonna, cause she's like a mom now. I wanna hear like a mom hairstyle. As someone with a septum, it's not that bad. I've seen worse on pe real people who had bad piercers. Okay, good. I'm gonna, I'm still gonna get the septum slider just to kind of like push it up a little bit more, but I'm glad for now it's okay. I don't know what to do. Should we give her a wolf cut? No. No, I think I'm gonna give her that hair with the clip in the back. That would be better. Oh man. Sometimes makeovers. I sometimes I just speed through them because just, it's a lot of making over. I'm gonna give her this one. Oh, that's cute. Her eyebrows might need to be a little bit thicker. She has a very gaunt face. Yeah, that's better. The scales. I don't know if she'd have her scales out in such like a small town. Small town vibes. I don't think she'd have her scales all all out and about. Um, take out her earrings. Oop, her earrings. I just had double earrings in her ears. Oops. She doesn't look like a mom anymore. Why? The bun is giving mom the little clip in the back. Um, here's some like basic earrings. I don't know. Some basic. Just those, I guess, lotus earrings. Give her different outfits. I think I definitely need to give her something from into the future though, because otherwise it's like I'm not using any of the in the future clothes. Somebody's gotta somebody's gotta take one for the team and get some into the future clothes, even though they're like they're not <laughs> they're not cute. They're not cute. They're just not. I don't like it. I don't like. Actually, this one's not too bad. Let me change your pants. Maybe I can make it work. I have to have something that is like closer to her skin, like sticks to her skin so that it doesn't clip. I mean, this isn't like the worst outfit I've seen. <laughs> you can dress her in something sleek and modern too, yeah. I think I'm just thinking like, I want them to look casual, but still be wearing into the future clothes, so. I mean, this is nice, but I really cannot see this. I forgot she had that tattoo on her back. Love it. This was the last mention that the cast could be a little nicer. Yeah. They could have, they could have gone a little, yeah. I mean, it's, it's fine. It's just, all of it is futuristic not a lot of use in like the home worlds, I guess. I like the top on her. The top isn't too bad. The ad leisure is killing me. <laughs> Maybe like a skirt or something? I don't know. I don't know. Low rise jeans, anyone? <laughs> Maybe some low rise jeans. Hey. Low rise jeans look fine. I mean, she has the in the future top on. That's something, right? It's not the cutest outfit, but it gets the job done, I guess. And future cast reads, oh, couture, sharp edges. Yeah, I know. I know. Did they move into the future or something? Not yet. Not yet. Um, this is just, I'm trying to give her something that isn't, it's futuristic using the clothing, but it's not like out of place for their, for their town. Don't ruin Martini. Guys, I don't want to give- she's like 40 years old. I don't want to give her like, you know, a, a dress and like a mini skirt. Like, she's a mom. I don't think she'd realistically be wearing that. 
honestly. Can't see her like as that that character. <clears throat> um, I'm I'm really struggling with this cast. I must have mentioned that in the video that I was really struggling like with the cast to make it work because I'm struggling. Like this is definitely difficult. Hmm. I'm thinking boots, guys. The shirt is actually cute. I think it's cute too. It's not too bad. It's not like too, maybe if I can get rid of those, that lighter blue on the sleeves, that might look a little bit better. Like that. Yeah, there we go. That's not too bad. I mean, is it a secret from the public that I choose a mermaid? Maybe. Probably. They just moved to the new town, so I'd assume so. I have to give her some combat boots. I'm just going to give up. And ugh, they're so ugly, though. They're so ugly, those combat boots with this outfit. I, I sometimes like these boots, but maybe something like this. I'm struggling. Maybe these ones. How about these ones, guys? Oh, man. Ugg boots. Um, you know what? Maybe we'll give her some horse hooves. How about those? It's just the jeans. You guys don't like the jeans? I actually kind of like the low rise of the jeans. I kind of, I don't know. I'm wearing low rise, low rise sweat, sweat pants right now. So got to give her some horse hooves. What have you been doing all night, Diego? Why have we not seen you? Maybe black slash gray jeans. Let's change it to black. Let's see. The black jeans actually looks a lot better, I think. I think it looks a lot better. Yeah. We'll give her black jeans with like some boots. I actually think that these boots aren't half bad. Even though they clip. I thought the top was clipping through her shoulders. It might have been. <clears throat> the huge boots look like that one episode of SpongeBob. <laughs> they actually do. Okay, we're gonna give her that. So that's Martina. She's like the matriarch. She's excitable, friendly, loves the cold, neurotic, and proper. I don't know why they all have the same wish to like be leader of the free world. I'm gonna move her to the medical career, because why not? It seems like that would be more make more sense for her. <clears throat> oh Noel, look at how Noel's looking at us. He's so cute. But they're so cute. Oh my gosh. Love. Okay. Um let's change them. I actually kind of like their outfit. I'm not minding it. I'm not minding it. Not minding Noel's outfit. Man, put a beard on men. <laughs> Part. No, Noel does not. I cannot imagine Noel with a beard. I actually really like the rosy rosacea and the cheeks that I gave them. It looks. I think it looks good. Hmm. I kind of like the hair too. Do we need to change? <laughs> Do we need to change Noel? I just gave them this outfit. Stubble, maybe? Ew, I don't like it. Mutton chops? Man, I don't... Plant sim. They do have plant sim genetics, so... Noel is blonde. The beard rule doesn't count here. Yeah, it's like a blonde beard. Like, it doesn't... It's, I don't know. Hmm. I retract my sim. I just gave him, I just gave him a beard and look, see? It's not, it's not doing anything for me. Don't go changing all that's what I'm saying. <laughs> all right, let's see what else. Let's see what we got for into the future. So Noel's going to be the one that we're primarily going through the future with so i can't remember their sexuality were they bi or gay they were one or the other i can't remember the check after i wonder how that'll work if 
Noel is with a man. Will it still generate children in the future? Does anyone know? Has everyone tried that? Is he gay? I think he's gay. I can't remember. But I wonder if it'll still generate kids for for them. Hmm. I like this top. It's not too bad. I think I might keep the pants actually. It'd be a different color. I really like these pants. It's giving like Tumblr or something. You're on Overwatch, Diego. I saw that earlier. It generates descendants no matter what. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I don't like the descendants say legit randoms. I think it does use your Sims's face though, right? Into the future does come with a engineering a baby for gay and lesbian sims. Yes, so that's what we'll that's what we'll do with Noel, just because I want to show that feature off. Hey. So let's see. Oh. oh my god, this is so bad. <laughs> this cast is just I don't know why there's more casts for male frames than female frames. Uh, I just I don't understand. Oh, this one's um interesting. This actually is not too bad. What if what if I just gave them this outfit? <laughs> I hate the collar on it. If the collar was not there, this would be like a perfectly fine outfit. Um, I actually kind of like this. I actually kind of like this. Uh, is this weird that I like this? It's a good formal outfit. I, I'm thinking like an everyday outfit. Or maybe like a second outfit. No, because then they'll never wear it if I put it as a secondary outfit. I like it too. Maybe change the shoes. I'm gonna change the shoes. This is Emmett Relevart for Erasure. I, I I will never forget how you guys told me that Emmett Relevart's last name is Time Traveler, or his name backwards is Time Traveler. I was like, that is so clever. That is so clever. I might even like, oh, wait, why could, oh my God, the Barnacle Bay boots are actually working with this outfit. Did I find a use for the Barnacle Bay boots? Oh my God. No way. I mean, they kind of clip, but like I can kind of ignore that. Hi, Mido. How are you? 20 months. Wow. 20 months is a Hi, long time. People. Hi, Mido. You're delusional. <laughs> okay. He looks like he belongs on Jersey Shore when he wears that hairstyle. I actually really like this hairstyle. Am I, am I like out of my element for saying that? I don't know. I think it's cute though. I actually no, you know what? I really like this hairstyle. I think it looks really good on Noel, so I'm gonna keep it like that. I'm 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 just never mind. Never mind. Why do I have a sock with a crown? It's because you've been subbed for eight months, Gwen. Sorry to say this sooner. Happy early birthday. Thank you, Bella Goff fan page. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. My birthday's tomorrow. Yay! I'm turning 22. Ooh. ooh. <laughs> I think the other oh my gosh Ash cannot show off his arms because they're too skinny they're too skinny I cannot let him show off his arms okay he's not gonna get into the future clothes because it's just not gonna look good on him I'm sorry freeze your eggs <laughs> fuck Diego all right Ash is getting this and that is it because I'm just not dealing with that okay I want, I want you guys to note this for whatever reason, the getting into the family, enter a uh, cast with a plant sim, it takes exponentially longer. I don't know how that's possible, but it takes like much longer. I think it has something to do with him being a plant sim because it doesn't, as you guys just saw, it doesn't take that long with other sims. So what's the problem? I don't know. I don't know what the problem is. I cannot tell you. I don't like EA world because there are only no bars or arcade lots designed for the world. Okay, so here's River in his natural state. It's very annoying to me. I think I might just make him a human sim. No, because then that changes his motives. I was gonna say I could just make him a human and make his skin green, but I'm not a fan of like how it keeps making him back into like his plant sim form. I'm not a fan. Oh my gosh, the long hair on him is so funny. I don't know why, but I can't imagine it. it I can't imagine it. Ooh. I like this. But is this giving dad? This one is. This is giving dad. 
That nose mask is just hideous. You think he needs the sun? He needs sun in order for it to grow? Diego, what the hell? <clears throat> oh my god, what, what, what? Was I okay when I was matching his nose mask? Because it's like so unmatched. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Hmm. How can you turn him human? I would just cheat him back to being human. Um, because it's just more hassle than it's worth. At this point, to grab this, make it darker. Mm. His skin is more like blue than it is. You guys see that? Look at it's like partially blue a little bit. That's too. That's too much now. Fuck. I had like a perfect match. There we go. Oh, that looks much better. Hey, Maddie, you can right click on what you want to get rid of it. Oh, you mean like right click on the, what's called the little picture? <gasps> Hello from Brazil. Oh my gosh. Quantos anos voce tem? <laughs> Brasu. Carlo. I tell you guys, I have so many Brazilian people that watch my videos. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. It's like, I think out of the non-dominant, I said this before, but out of the non-dominant English speaking countries, Brazil is like my number one. Green giant. <laughs> guys is green giant. <laughs> Laughing but crying. Missing Duda, I know. Do you know Duda commented on the um, stream VOD? I don't know if you guys, if you watched like the stream VOD back, they did comment on the stream VOD. It was very nice. Duda. She ate, we love Duda. Hot dog, she made a hot dog. Oh my gosh. Oh, what if we give him like this like janitor outfit? River janitor times the hot dog one. I kind of like it. How about he's like a genie? How about that? I walk in the streets like that. <sighs> what else do we got here? I'm, I know I'm gonna probably like change all their outfits before the first part because this is just not, this is not, it's like the middle of summer. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Wait, I kind of like that green shirt on him. Hold on, hold on. That's kind of nice. I am I just wish I could give you... Oh, I should do like a fun little series where like you guys give me your sims and like we can check them out like in our game. You're watching the weather channel. Your most accurate and dependable <clears throat> source of weather information. Let's see. Ooh, this is kind of cute, but it looks a little too young for him. Looks a little too young. Let's see. Oh, how about the six pack shirt? Maybe this one? No. It depends what world I'm playing in Mesa Grande or Mesa, Mesa Grande. <laughs> Mesa Grande, so I'll buy, I'll buy shorts on them in the winter. I usually change their clothing depending on the season, but I don't know. I don't know. The song is I'm like vibing. Hey, 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 hey. Why is Diego saying oi with like kissy lips? <laughs> oi. <laughs> Carlo, did you understand my Portuguese? Tell me. Am I good Portuguese? <clears throat> Am I? Also, I am once again forgetting how to type. Listen, it's okay. Sometimes I'll like sit here and read your guys' messages and I cannot form a sentence for the life of me. Cotton socks say something in Portuguese. Quantos anos voce tem? What? <laughs> I didn't get it? You don't get it! Quantos anos voce tem? Diego says I, I speak Portuguese good. <laughs> now I'm hurt that Diego's like duping me. 
<laughs> That's the only sentence I know how to say in Portuguese. That was the only one. It was nice. Okay, me when I lie. He's getting these glasses, these dad glasses. I'm sick of like sorting through outfits because I cannot choose. He looks like a cottage student. You mean college? Yeah, I know. He looks young. I don't know what to do. Oh, beard, right? Beard. Diego. Beard. Okay, we gotta put a beard on him. His face looks so gaunt. He has like a very gaunt face. Hi, Everny. Hi, Shani. Hi, Vinis. Vinisu. Vinisu. Ugh. I don't like these facial hairs. Mm -hmm. I'm just not having it. I don't like these. Oh, this one's kind of nice. Wait, this one's kind of nice on him. <gasps> mm. He looks like a Greek god, but extraterrestrial. That's a good way to put it. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe dark facial hair? What color are his roots? Oh, there's like a dark green. I don't know, guys. It's gotta be a green green shade because that's the color of his hair on his head okay wait that doesn't look half bad all right whatever that with the stream because i accidentally clicked out of it and wondered why nothing was playing for almost two hours and back hi eve the one you liked it gives all plants some beard i i think i think so too this is the one he's had for like a long time this beard right here maybe this one yeah i guess we could do that one See, the thing is, is I have to... Mm. I have to make his clothes like futuristic enough that it doesn't look strange that he has like that futuristic beard. It's giving Dilf. I think so too. Sure, I just can't decide on a shirt for him. I don't know. I don't know what I want to give him. Something like this? Like, I just I don't know. Someone help me, please. I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe like a sports dad. Like he wears sports clothing. <laughs> I don't know, but like this. This is a sports clothing. <clears throat> hmm. What are we up to today? We're giving makeovers to my into the future sims he looks like he's from the uk when i give him jeans and that sports top <laughs> i don't know why it's giving uk okay this is this is getting better this is getting better i'm like i can feel it we're halfway we're halfway to getting river an appropriate outfit a good outfit we're, we're almost there i can i can taste it whoa wait a second this is kind of nice. This is kind of nice. He looks so good. Thank you. I'm starting to like green mans. He's not. Yeah, he's one of the better looking Sims. For sure. Oh, my Spotify. Dude, is Spotify like ever going to come back up or what? Hmm. Oh, look at those little tiny baby feet he has now when I put those shoes on him. Pita? His beard kind of looks like the guy from Hungry Games. Yes, I think that's, I said that earlier. I think they, um, that's what they took it from. I'm pretty sure that's what they inspired, got inspired from is that Hunger Games, the, the, whatever his name is, the headmaster, not headmaster, but the, you know, the overlooker, overseer of the game. I think it was him that they got that beard from. What is his name? Does any, anybody know the guy's name from Hunger Games who I'm talking about? Someone in chat has got to know. Not PETA. The Game Master. Yes, the Game Master from Hunger Games. That's who we're talking about. Um, He's become an elder in five days. I cannot believe it. Should we give him gray hair? Let's give him some graying hair, shall we? <clears throat> Wait. <laughs> Grim, it held your message. <laughs> <laughs> That boy over here has facial hair is, has, suddenly has me all eye emoji. Seneca. Oh, thank you. Yes, Seneca Crane. Yes, Seneca is his name. I'm gonna give him some grays. I mean, he's like got five days till he becomes an elder, so. 
It's gonna have some gray hair, some graying hair. It looks a little strange, I will say, because his hair is maybe maybe a darker gray might make more sense. Yeah. I don't know. Hm. It's not too bad. Yeah, he's like five days from becoming an elder, so. He doesn't look like the river from last gen. He's the only sim that looks good with that facial hair. I know, right? Isn't it weird? It's gotta be because he's like a Ed. Looks a little extraterrestrial already. Extraterrestrial. All right, here's River's uh, retired outfit. He's retired now, so this is what he wears. So River is good, loves the outdoors, natural warm performer, social butterfly, and a technophobe. What am I gonna do for him? I cannot do Seaside Survivor. I don't think it'll work in this world. It might actually work in this world. Wait a sec, I think I lied. I think it will work in this world. So here's River. He's got that lounge look on. He's lounging. Movie Seneca lives rent free in my head. I remember when I was young, I used to really like him. He's really handsome. Who, who plays that guy? Okay, so I just clicked the check mark, right? Watch how long, because he's a plant sim, it takes us to get out of cast. I don't know why, but I hit the check mark and like two minutes later, it will put us into the actual game. Okay, Seneca Crane is played by Wes Bentley, who is in, oh, he's in American Horror Story. That's why I know him. And Interstellar, right, right. Okay, he's in American Horror Story. He was in Yellowstone too. I heard that show a lot on TikTok. My Wi-Fi dropped immediately. I had to send him a last message. Banned from Wi-Fi for homosexual crimes. What? It was in the climate cold. So yeah, but we're gonna be in the middle of summer when we start back up. It did, I held your message on Twitch too. I had to like approve it. So hope nothing happens. The climate will be cold and we need to like find out what the average temperature of well first of all we need to decide is aurora skies sweden or denmark what do you guys think i think it's sweden isn't it i think it'd be sweden or like maybe greenland why is it like still it's still not going <laughs> i still hit the check mark like 20 minutes ago and it's still not going hello 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 just are we stuck no we're not stuck it'll 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 do its thing well, while I'm waiting on this, do you like Sims 4? I do not. I'm not a fan. Um, we can do Sweden. Like, look up the summer temperature in Sweden. It's not Iceland. Is that Iceland? It's based off of Legos, and Legos were invented in Denmark, so probably Denmark. Oh, really? Aurora Skies is an Icelandic coastal town themed world. The version. Oh, yeah, it costs a lot. You need to see some of the townies and cast, like Adam Birch. Why is this taking. Like, it's just with plant Sims that it takes so freaking long to get in and out of cast i'm glad i saved just in case this doesn't go through i really like this makeover i hope it doesn't like break my game up right here i have no i have no interface do you guys see this i have like no buttons i can press press or anything i should study but i'll stay here i love people enjoying the sims thank you carlo you need to see some of the townies and cast like adam birch i would love to get back to cast or like live mode right now but i'm stuck in cast there we go finally i have tried silas it's the same either way okay we're gonna save and then we're gonna go okay iceland's or icelandic icelandic is like a whole region isn't it icelandic where's icelandic map let's see oh iceland's a country okay right <laughs> I, I knew it was a country but i thought it was like the same thing as saying like Scandinavian and how Scandinavia is like a whole area. You know what I mean? Okay, so why don't we look up Iceland's summer temperature? For plant sims, it takes 30. I don't know why it takes long. America Core. I knew Iceland was a country. Okay, so for Iceland, here's the answers I got 50 to 59, which is so freaking cold. Iceland's temperatures in summer can be as low as 41 Fahrenheit, 5C, but as warm as 77 during this time of year. On average, Iceland's weather in summer is between 50 to 59 Fahrenheit, 10 to 15 Celsius. So that's really cold. It does not get warm there at all. It can bring us about 18 hours of daylight. That's sick. Okay, that's really cool. So what I'm going to do now you're back for good. I think Wi-Fi start stop backing up. Okay, good. I'm gonna go to um. I'm gonna remove that morning mood lights. Let me make sure the family tree is like intact, right? Yes, we have. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Um, in the summer or the winter? That was for the summer. So I can't even imagine in the winter how cold it would be in the winter in Iceland. Like that's crazy. So we're gonna go to City Hall. Oh, I actually want to look at some of the buildings here. 
So this is like a basic, just like a city hall. This is nothing too special. I really like like the houses. They're really cute. Why is your graphics so good? I don't remember Sims 3 being this good. What do you mean? You're talking about like my lighting or whatever? I have everything on high, if that's what you mean. That's my graphics look good. Let's see, oh, this is like a little fishing area right here. It's very cute. The builds are not too bad for, this is like a really basic build, but they spruced it up a lot. I will say they spruced it up with like lights in the pillar and all that. So not too bad. The hot springs is the moment. Where's the hot springs? Let me see if I can find them. This is a basalt beach. Actually, does this have hot springs? Doesn't basalt beaches have hot springs at them? I know that there's like a giant item, like a like a hot tub. Did you know about Loki Beaker? Oh, really? I did not. I did not. Some beaches here. Pretty simple. This would be really a hard world for River to be a. Oh my god, I, I kind of want to get rid of the pony center. The pony, pony, what is it called? Equestrian center. It's not too bad. The world is not too bad. I actually really like it. I like the houses. They're like very colorful and just give like pops of color here and there. It's cute. The hospital, the school is gorgeous. Here's the um, athletic center. This is really cool, actually. This is a really cool athletic center. It's very small town, which is really interesting, but it's very spruced up. It's very decorated. Um, let me find, where's the hospital at? Oh, the school. Okay, you guys are talking about the school a lot. Oh, oh, my game froze there for a second. All right, so here's the school. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, this is a really great build. This is a really good build. Oh, it's like an outdoor school a little bit. That is so cute. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it's very colorful. I like the colors. So this is where they go into school, which is so cute. Look at the little handprints on the door. Cute. Yeah, it is. It is really pretty. Um, all right, let's see what else we got here. So we also have... Uh, gotta go. Have a good birthday. Thank you, Bella Goff fan page. What is this world? This is Aurora Skies. This world is Aurora Skies. Someone else said the medical center. Where's the medical center? Am I just looking over it? Uh, my music stopped. <laughs> Love Spotify. Where is the medical center? Hello? My, oh, here we go. It's for, oh wow, that's really futuristic actually. Oh, that's cute. It's not really giving me a medical center though. I mean, I guess like the things out back, like these could be for patients or whatever. Hmm. Interesting medical center. Oh, the sim has to walk all the way around though, don't they? There's no front door, is there? No, there's no, oh, right here, I lied. I guess it could be a medical center. The, the, the what's this called? Lobby is giving medical center. It's a lab as well, yeah. It looks like the structure looks more like a lab than the medical center. Here's the graveyard. That's interesting. This must be like something, um, something traditional or something. It, it looks like it has like some, tradition a traditional building in iceland um what else do we have we have just like the varg's tavern all that kind of like basic stuff it's getting midsummer here we have like a here's the pool in town and these builds are not too bad the pool the bathroom area is a little bit eh i don't like the i'm not a fan of of this bathroom situation like there's no there's no dividing these sims are not going to be able to use those showers but whatever and here's the fitness center on the street oh wait this is the fitness how is this a fitness center it looks like a like someone's house well that's interesting you can tell this is definitely small town sort of vibes because of the fitness center so anyway let's quickly before stream is over i did not have time to play selena i'm so sad um, I'm gonna show you guys Enros Tempest. So this mod lets you customize weather for your town. So obviously like in Vanilla Sims 3, you can like go into your options here and like fuss with the weather and whatever. But this allows you to really get in there and like set the high for each season, like how high it can or how hot it can get in the low. So like a town like this, Aurora Skies, won't be like 90 Fahrenheit during the summer, which is insanely hot. And as you, as I showed by Google, I mean, Iceland doesn't get that hot. It only gets between 50 to 59, 
average, which is 10 to 15 Celsius. So in actuality, it's not gonna get that warm until like this. So it's really important that I replicate that sort of in the Sims 3 and all that. Um, so we're gonna go in here. I'm gonna show you guys how I do this. So I would go, it's a little bit complicated. So I'm gonna go to weather summer <laughs> and as you can see i already have san juan puerto rico which is what i base the weather off for isla paradiso so it would kind of mimic that so during the winter it wouldn't get super cold in isla paradiso we're gonna go in here and we're gonna go and do rename profile we're gonna name it um icelands weather <laughs> i guess and then so this lets me set the high and the low so as you can see the minimum or evening at nighttime so obviously in real life when it gets hotter or when it when the sun goes down it gets really cold outside so maybe for the evenings i would make it maybe like 55 to 65 during the summer and then maybe in the mornings i would maybe see you just have to basically go in and like fine tweak it so in the noon which in noon which is like the hottest point of the day see you but i have to decide how hot i want to make it I'm gonna make it like max 78 degrees. That's the peak during the day. In middle of the day, we can go with 65. So anyway, that's how I use Enros Tempest. That is how I do these things. You have to go in here and fine tune each value. It's kind of a pain in the ass to do, honestly, but that's what that's just Enros Tempest. That's just how you gotta do it. Um, so someone says, can I use a tempest with Celsius? Yes, I think it's I think it also depends on like if how you have your in-game temperature i think that might be what it coordinates to so like if you have celsius for your in-game temperature it'll probably show that menu in, in celsius um so starry says you can't see without leaving at or we can't leave without seeing adam birch okay so we're gonna look at adam birch here i'm ready i'm ready to see you guys are hyping this man up so much like it better be it better be worth it Okay, here we go. Adam Birch. Oh, I want to bring him in Cass. Mr. Birch. Let's bring him in. He's about to get brought into Cass. Okay, here we go. I'm excited. I have like, I have like high expectations. You guys keep hyping him up. Come on. He better be, he better be good looking. I swear, if you guys are messing with me. This is the man that you guys are freaking out about? Are you serious? this man why why <laughs> i mean he's okay it's giving like one of the freer brothers thank you for the hydration check eve he looks like he doesn't wash his hands he looks like he doesn't wash his hands after he goes pee yeah he has a cute nose he does he does have a cute nose but like i was diego literally said he was david beckham okay like <laughs> what? where i'm even changing up his hair and he's not doing anything for me i don't know i mean i guess like this kind of hairstyle he looks much better but it looks like a bin sim he does he no he is good looking for like a ea pre-made i will i i agree with you guys but he looks like he could be one of the frio brothers like the third frio brother Give him a B rad. Okay, I'll give him a B rad. <laughs> Just before stream ends, I'll give him a B rad. So anyway, um, that is how I set up pretty much my towns. Um, I use Porter. I will also import my Enroll settings, which I have a whole video on. So I'll import those as well. Did you see the Bjork inspired sim? I didn't know they had a Bjork inspired sim wow this is there's like so much in this town there's loki there's bjork who else did you guys say there's a futurama family in into the future as well who knew okay i'm like this is not doing anything for me diego i'm sorry but uh, it's it's maybe if i darken up the beard a little bit because the late facial hair is not doing it. okay that's better my boyfriend has like orange in his beard. It's so weird because he has brown hair, but he has like orange in his beard. I don't know why that is. It's so strange. He's rich, so automatically an eligible bachelor. All right. Anyways, guys, 
I hope you did enjoy um, the stream, the setup stream. I will be on YouTube later this week playing that family that we set up, which is so exciting. Our, my first intro episode to Into the Future. I'm so excited to play. He, he has a mouth, looks like a cat somehow. <laughs> Game night win. I'll have, to, I'll have to see when we can play. Something's gonna be happening with my internet, so I have to make sure I can even have internet in my room. I think I will. Like moving the router or something, I don't know. He's giving David Beckham vibes. I mean, he's okay. It's okay. Um, so I'll let you know on, on Discord. Join the Discord, guys, if you want to play Game Night's Jackbox. We play Jackbox on our Discord. I always alert you guys when our next game night is and you guys can join. It's super fun. We have like a bunch of people and yeah, it's just game night. Game night is game night. So I'm gonna go play Tarkov with my boyfriend and my cousins. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys this week on YouTube. Into the Future will probably be out this week, which is so exciting. I have a couple more setup things to do, but other than that, I'll see you guys this week on YouTube. But tomorrow's my birthday, so I won't be streaming. So I'll see you guys next Saturday. <laughs> not the straight man game. I, I, I talked about that in the beginning of stream, Diego, how there's not a lot of girls that play Tarkov. It's weird, right? Yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys this week on YouTube. Bye.